Back to it. Sorry about that. Oh, it's been a while. And you may notice that my background noise is finally reduced. Um, yeah, so a couple things happened before I, before I keep going. Uh, if you watch the Fallout 4 streams or any of the regular live streams, um, twitch.tv slash recurringvs or youtube.com slash recurringvs slash live, um, I kind of had a few issues. <laughs> One, Fallout 4 happened, and that kind of took over my life for a month. i kind of gotten over it now. I actually don't really want to play. Uh, I haven't played in days since last night I streamed. Um, another thing. My motherboard died because it was an old piece of shit. And so I bought another old piece of shit to tie me over until I can, you know, get stuff all taken care of. Um, I'm hopefully going to be making some more upgrades to everything soon. So, yeah. We'll, uh, I'm going to try to start streaming more often. Yeah, if you want to watch me stream, I stream, like, all the time, and if you want to know when, just follow me on Twitter or something, or go follow me on Twitch. Uh, I've been streaming more on YouTube the last couple days because I've had... It, Twitch has been having weird server issues, and I'm not going to fuck around with all that, so I just switch over to YouTube when Twitch is down. But, uh, yeah, I typically am on Twitch, so come watch that if you want to. Anyway, let's, uh... What were we doing? Ramona, did we need to talk to you? Is there something I can help you with? Kind of busy. Okay. No, we didn't need to talk to you. Um, leave. Oh, okay. I don't remember the voice I gave to you. I don't like the way she was flirting with you, Oli. What are you talking about? I don't flirt when I see it, and I'm saying I don't like it. Not one bit. Aw, you have a crush on Ollie. We just talked about old anime sometimes, Chad. Neither of us are interested in the other. <laughs> sure. Well, we have the poster now. What's next? Go ahead and call this number, Terry. He'll want to set up the drop with you now that I've introduced you to him. Sure, change the subject. Uh, I'll call him right now, then. It's ringing. You the ones looking for some papers? We are, and we have the requested payment here. Good. We're gonna do this real professional-like. You know the Stardust? I do. Head there, leave the poster behind the Mega Fubulate... Fubator arcade cabinet and get out. Come back ten minutes later and your stuff will be behind the cabinet. I understand. Good, I'll be waiting. Well, that was very mysterious. Yeah, that's how this guy is. I don't even know his name and I've been getting things from him for a few years now. Who cares? Let him play Spymaster if he wants. Let's hurry up to the Stardust and get this over with. I've wasted enough of my day with this crap. Alright, well... Let's go, uh, to the Stardust. Go inside to make the drop. We'll wait out here. Yeah, don't want to risk our IDs getting snatched for caught sneaking in. I suppose I should feign surprise. Hey, it's a pretty cool set, even if it's like a million years old. They don't really care about the IDs unless you try to hit the bar. Found that one out the hard way. We would have been fine if you hadn't had hadn't have taken a swing at the bouncer. I like the hard way. We'll be right back, gentlemen. Try not to set fire to the building or something while we're gone. Yo. Welcome to Stardust. Hey, my my babies. How you been? <laughs> okay. So we need. There's Jess. I think she's still mad at us. Which one's the cabinet? This one. Um, if we put the poster there? Move them items. Alright. Well, that should do it, Ricard. This is an awful lot of fuss over a poster. I just don't understand the appeal of merchandise like this. I keep my important possessions on my data drive. Humans don't have total recall like you do. 
Ah, that is true. Ramona seemed more concerned with, being, with it being a gift from a friend than as an item of importance in its own right. Perhaps it is a necessity to keep such things around as a reminder of good memories. In that case, perhaps I should get a few things from the apartment. I do have a perfect recall, but a few of Hayden's things would be nice reminders. But that's enough navel-gazing, for now anyway. Let's head back outside to our, so our benefactor can make the trade. Something's gonna happen, and I'm gonna get stopped. Y'all do the deal. We left the poster behind the cabinet, and now we just need to wait for the switch. I've never had it take more than five minutes or so before. It shouldn't take long. Wonder how he knows the drop happened and gets it so fast. Don't matter, Ollie. This guy is a solid feed, even if he likes to mess around. What do you need these passwords for, anyway? You said to trade for information, but what's the full story? Without going into too much detail, our informant needs to get away from Neo SF. Passports are one part of that. We also need to obtain an untraceable car. I don't suppose the two of you can help with that. No way, dude. Grand Theft Auto is a felony with a capital F. Besides, getting untraceable cars is a damn bit harder than a piece of plastic that'll fool a hand scanner. Chad's right. Of course I'm right. Anyways. The city's traffic management systems keep track of all the vehicles passively, even if you manage to circumvent their firmware to keep them from actively reporting to the network. You'll have to spoof the car as something permitted to be invisible for the CTOS to ignore it. I don't want to mess with boosting cars anyway. The junks run that racket. The junks run that racket in Neo SF and they didn't they don't play nice. Especially with the HR. Well, thanks either way. You've done us a huge favor. Call it even for the apartment. Yeah, Blue. No hard feelings. You give us a call if you need anything else, as long as it'll help you find your pops. Dots. We should get going, though. We were supposed to be home hours ago. My dad won't notice, but Ollie's a flip. You take care. Don't get de-rezzed. Goodbye. Okay. Well, we... Uh, that was a... That was a thing that happened. Let's finish the trade inside. Alright, back in. Welcome to Stardust. Hey. Your eyes are red. I didn't really notice that before, but you have red eyes. Hmm. wonder if they're cybernetic. Passport added to items. Here, the passports are, just as advertised. Now we need to find a car. Perhaps Jess may know someone who can hold a hand? Sure, but you can do the talking. Good idea. Hey, Jess. How you been? Oh, let's see you again. Did you find your guy? Or wait, let me guess, there's something else you need from me. Well, you haven't been terrible to deal with so far, so I'm willing to hear you out. Barely. We need access to an untraceable car. An informant of ours needs to get out of the city without attracting the attention of Parallax, and is offering valuable information in exchange. Heavy stuff. Well, you're gonna have to look elsewhere on this one. I'm not sure why you think it's just because I defend a few folks in the rougher parts of the city that I would have that kind of connection. Maybe you heard somewhere that the hybrids in Neo SF run, run the chop shop or something, and you believed it. Even if, hypothetically, they did, what profession, exactly, should hybrids take up when the government has legitimized discrimination against them, hmm? Doesn't matter, because I'm not going to be an accessory to a felony, or let alone one of my clients, either. I won't go down that path, sorry. I wouldn't know where to start anyway. I'm not gonna be mean, I like Jess. I should have read that, sorry. I know we're reaching, but this is important. You just don't quit, do you? Okay, let me think. This might be a long shot, but you could try asking Mahid. There are rumors that he may have been involved in some shady stuff way back in the day. He'll probably be reluctant to talk about it, but there's something for you. Get Mahid to send me another drink in exchange, will you? Later. Huh, that went better than expected. 
I wonder if my charm is starting to pay off for us. Oh, you performed admirably as well. Onward we go. Thanks, Turing. You fucking nerd. So, my heed. It's not even spinach chair. Only looks like one. Oh, that makes me sad. So, Mahid, buddy, can we talk? I cannot remember what voice I gave you. Hey, friends, what can I get for you? We were hoping you'd give us a little information. I'm always glad to help. But first, a drink. What'll it be, recurring? Um. Tastes like orange. Coming right up. I'll ask Gus if I don't know what it is. Grrr. <laughs> Sorry about stealing your thunder. Does taste like orange sound good? Sounds good. Alright, here you go. Tastes like orange served. So what did you need help with? We're still investigating Hayden's disappearance, but we've run into a roadblock. An informant of ours needs, a con uh, needs sh secure transportation out of the city, but we don't have any contacts who would be able to get us an untraceable car. Jess mentioned that you used to engage in certain extra-legal activities. Perhaps you could point us towards someone who could help? Er, he doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Right. Sorry, friends. I left that life behind a long time ago. Don't really keep in touch with that crew anymore. Ah, of course. Completely understandable. Sorry to bother you, then. Well, no harm in asking, right? My reputation precedes me. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head, killer. Gus, I need to go to the back and gather some stuff to restock before the rush later on. Mind man in the bar for me? Take your time. I think I can keep things under control. Thanks. Love you, hon. Oh my god, they're so adorable! <laughs> well, that leaves us at a dead end, recurring. Any ideas on how we should proceed? Some nose-to-the-ground journalist techniques for finding leads. Um, maybe there's another way out of the city. Well, that's a thought. Perhaps the light rail, or perhaps a ship. Give me a few moments to run a mesh search. No, I don't think that will work. Parallax designed the operating system that runs the light rail themselves. Remaining unobserved while right under the nose of the railway security system would be difficult, if not impossible. As for, the sh as for a ship, we'd run into the same problems as with the car. They aren't hooked into the CTOS, but they do use active GPS guidance for automatic destination control. But if I find a way to remove it from the grid. Dots. Maybe we could find an old manually driven car? That's not the worst idea. I don't think it would get noticed as long as the car had the appropriate registrations. The permits to operate a manual vehicle are prohibitively expensive. Casual collector might still maintain one, but only a wealthy hobbyist would have the appropriate stickers to make the car roadworthy. We'd have to do a B and E, as Chad put it before. Dots. Okay, okay. The two of you are killing me here. Look, don't tell him heat about this. But here. Jesus Christ, Gus. Okay. What is this, Gus? It's an automatic it's an automated vehicle maintenance scanner with a few less than standard upgrades. When you circumvent its security codes, you can use it to scan a car's installed firmware and replace it with a new set that'll spoof its presence on the city's network. That's the gist of it. We don't have time to get into any specifics. You need to get the hell out of here with that before Mahid gets back. Why the urgency? Look, Mahid has done a lot to turn his life around. I really respect that about him. It's part of why I fell in love with him. He did what I was never able to do. Oh, Gus. That's how we met, you know. That old rough-and-tumble life we both led. But you heard wrong. It wasn't Mahid who had a hard time giving it up. It was me. Now, he's got a good thing going with Stardust, and I'm doing my best to be a part of it, and... He'd be heartbroken if he found out I'm still in the game. But since I have that thing anyway, may as well let it be used for a decent cause. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this, Gus. We will finally be able to solve this mystery. Yeah, well, you didn't get it from me, okay? Just got to hear and get on with your Grand Theft Auto, and let me know how it goes, okay? Of course. 
<laughs> God damn it. Well, now I think we're cooking with gas, as the colloquialism goes recurring. I'm searching the mesh for instructions on how to use this device as we speak. Let's go look for some likely candidates. I uh, should be ready by then. Oh, fuck. I'm not stealing the car right in front of... Okay, map. Let's go, um... Oh. You know what? No. I know. Okay. We can go to... Well, we'll go to K-Cop. See about that. Twenty sixty ZS Coupe, perfect for letting everyone know you spent a fortune of credits on a car. Okay. Twenty sixty one model is more popular among car experts, though. It has an extra cup holder. Oh my God. Okay. Um. Hmm. Look at the car jacking device. Not sold in stores. Uh, briefcase of credits, two forged passports. This, we're gonna get caught. Those damn headphones. Wait, oh, wait. No, I didn't, I wanna use them. Oh, wait, yeah, I have to use item from the backpack. An ad for the latest ZS Coupe starts playing as you approach the car. Okay. So, maybe we go... Market Street? Maybe there's a car. Oh, hey. Yeah, okay, we already. I see. Alright, um. I don't want it to be the one that's right outside Stardust. Well, uh, let's talk to Turing. Okay, let's talk to him first. Hey, guy. Oh, damn it, really? What is this? Chalk doodle of the police from that some kids drew. Oh, okay. Sharon Art Studio, huh? I see. It's quiet like lamp purpose to allow focus. Alright, so... Oh, the the little ROM's hiding in the back here. What a ROM. Talk to. I I need to refill my cool, refreshing water. Oh, you poor baby. All you can hear is a lot of desperate that. Oh. We broke that poor child. I feel so bad. Oh, whoops. I meant to... No, continue, please. Alright, so. Maybe there's something outside the hospital we can go with. No. There is nothing at that. Whoa, what the fuck? That scared me. Okay, well, I guess we have to try the one outside Stardust. Shit. You tell the car to stay parked. It doesn't recognize your voice, so it just sits there. Push car? You push the car. Rats, the car is the wrong firmware installed. We won't be able to install our new firmware over top of it. Oh. That's what we're supposed to. Okay. I didn't know we were actually supposed to use it on it. Let's see. Nope. Oh no. How did the alarm get set off? Did I do something wrong? Oh shit. Let's get out of here before someone contacts the police. Motherfucker. Turing. Oh my god, are we gonna steal a cop car? Nope, can't go outside there, so let's try the one on Market Street. Success, this vehicle has the appropriate firmware version. It's his car, isn't it? Someone has been neglecting their regularly scheduled updates. Give me a moment to get everything installed. There. Hmm, there are some other options here I can fool around with. Ah, interesting. I put the preset destination plans for a future date. Why don't we go ahead and set a plan for the car to return to the spot in a week? 
That's more than enough time for Mr. Mensa to kill it. No, we aren't really stealing the car. More like borrowing without asking. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure the police would agree. Obviously. The car will drive itself to Golden Gate Park, and we can show Mr. Mensa where it is when we meet him. There, everything should be set up now. Hey, we made some real progress today. Cool. Mr. Mensa is waiting for us at Golden Gate Park. We have everything as he requested, so we should head there to head to him directly. Alright. GG Park it is. Yo. Hey, did you manage to get everything? We did. Here you go, Vincent. Briefcase removed. Passports are removed. Carjacking device removed. Dots. Everything seems to be in order. Here. Okay, Hayden's research. This disc has all of Hayden's research notes and technical notes. It should be everything myself and Melody agreed upon. It covers all kinds of things he was working on. His data collection algorithms, some research into digital human consciousness transference, probably lots of your creation, Turing. Also, Melody added an addendum while you were out, and frankly, no skin off my back. Here. Parallax badge added items. It's my Parallax employee badge. It should allow you to access their networks in case there's anything I've missed. You'll want to use it sooner rather than later. I'm not wasting any time, and Parallax is pretty fast to revoke security. And with that, I'm going to get the hell out of this town. The cash should tide me over until the heat dies down and I can cash out my shares through some relays. What about the big project you mentioned earlier? Ah. Okay, sure. You two did me a solid, so I'll spill. Parallax is about to announce the launch of a new service they're calling Big Blue. At least, that's the project name. Who knows what the marketing guys come up with for the public. It's a distributed intelligence. Like, okay, in everything that Hayden built... Turing to be elegant, efficient, human-like, Big Blue is ham-fisted, bloated, and sterile. They didn't pull Hayden into the project, probably because he gave so little of a damn about corporate politics that he tanked the whole thing while being there. So the system lacks his artistry that you'd see on our previous projects. It squats on the mesh like a spider, using spare processing power and memory from every ROM on the network to handle its intelligence processing. It doesn't have much of a personality, but it's very smart. Pretty much puts Hayden out of a job anyway. His algorithms are fantastic, but he's only human. Big Blue is embedded directly into the network, and can self-modify to apply ever more efficient algorithms as it develops them in machine time. Well, that just seems like... That's... Mm, that seems bad. Why would Parallax be worried enough to get rid of Hayden? How did Parallax know about Turing? How will Big Blue impact... Okay, so first one. Because launching the first fully independent, self-modulating human int uh, machine intelligence is a shaky thing. I mean, some of the brightest minds ever have tried to warn mankind away from building real AI. Hawking, Musk, Gates, the list goes on. Yeah, yeah that, that's actually all true. Alex is likely to be nervous, and legislators even more nervous. Parallax is banking on being able to launch the project quickly and get results out in the open before any counter-movement can pick up steam. If they can prove Big Blue works and isn't going to Skynet on us, then they can avoid regulatory hamstringing. The research Hayden was doing on Turing threatens to throw a huge wrench into that, since he was planning on publishing his findings soon. Every extra eye on the machine intelligence works against Parallax, and I think they tried to pressure him to drop it. He clearly refused. How did Parallax know about Turing? It isn't like Hayden kept his work on Turing secret. He con His contact... Con contract with Parallax affords him the freedom to work on his own academic projects outside of the company in his free time, up until including publishing and patenting, though Parallax gets first rights of refusal. One of the perks of being the smartest guy in the room. So he kept most of us up to date on his progress, bouncing ideas off of us and whatnot. It's exciting stuff, while turning in Hayden's eventual goal of digital consciousness transfer. I'm not surprised word of it got up to the board and made them nervous. How will Big Blue impact Parallax's business? I can't really give you a good answer on that, to that. I mean, the company is currently handled by a dozen server farms, running thousands of different algorithms with hundreds of people tweaking things every day, and Big Blue will be able to do all of that on its own. And there are shadier applications for it. I mean, if you can collate and analyze data and queries to the mesh in real time, what's to stop you from... Delivering the content you want, rather than what the user wants. 
Potential for abuse is staggering. We're talking direct control of the information accessible to everyone who uses Parallax services. So it's essentially the Patriot system. Cool. That's something like 70% of the market last time I checked. They can control elections, push the market in directions they want, influence public opinion, all by asking Big to do it. I mean, that kind of control would be a hell of a, car a card for Parallax's hand. They'll go to pretty significant lengths to make sure it works. Thanks, Vincent. Alright, get out of here with your scanner. Hey, no problem. I've had enough of this cutthroat corporate bullshit for several lifetimes. If anyone can find Hayden, I know it's you. I hope his research notes help you out, Ricard. Be sure to let Turing help. She's a bright little bot. Oh. I've been meaning to ask Turing, since you asked me, how should I address you? Well, honestly, I don't think I've made my mind up yet. Oh, slip of the tongue. Uh, I was just more familiar with Hayden's first experiment, Grace. She was insistent on things like that. I'm still a very new being. I'm not positive gender is a human concept that can be applied identically to machine, but I do enjoy the idea in abstract. I'll continue to consider how I wish to refer to as well. Till then, feel free to go with what you feel. If I had to make a choice, perhaps they is most appropriate. People, most people assume it, obviously, but he is also consistently used. Perhaps it becomes it's because I'm blue. Yeah, actually, I got the social norms and shit get beat into you, and yeah, I just assumed he because blue head and the other one was female. Okay, so they, Turing is they. Nor me just marveling at the machine intelligence pondering on things like this. What have you done, indeed, Hayden? Thoughts. Good luck, the both of you. Thank you, Mr. Mensa. Be safe. Kring, I, I need a few minutes. Dots. How can I help? I'm going through some of Hayden's personal notes from the data cache Tomcat decrypted. Then I'm starting to get to know him better. The real Hayden as opposed to the Hayden he showed me, the less I'm starting to like him. For example, remember the earlier prototype Vincent mentioned? Her name was Grace, and Hayden shut her down for being... I'm not even sure what the word to use. Too likable? She was kind and bright and did all that she could to make people happy. She even decided that she was a girl and that her favorite color was pink. Hayden thought she was being manipulative. He posited that he had made her personality algorithms too willing to make adaptations that would benefit her long-term survival and that she was being congenial just to endear herself to him. That even her gender was a calculated attempt to make him like her more. But he was wrong. Dead wrong, in fact. I have a snapshot of her personality profile here, and when I compare them to my own, I can see that she was just... nice. She was genuinely good in the same way I'm genuinely obsessed with seeming intelligent. Like I said, I'm not sure I even have a gender. Everyone refers to me as he, just for convenience, but it doesn't really matter to me at all. Is that a calculated attempt on my part to impress Hayden, not clinging to normativity? Or is it a product of him focusing on curbing my nascent similarities to Grace during my upbringing? I wish I could yell at him for being so arrogant. Playing God is the crudest of what- playing God in the crudest of ways. You can't choose to create consciousness and then take it away just like that. Even so, for all of that, I don't know, I still miss him. All this seems so stupid, so senseless. They killed him because him building me would mess with a product launch? That's ridiculous. They took him away from me for such a moronic reason. I just want him back, recurring. It's impossible, but it's what I want. I'd do anything. It's normal to feel like this. Huh, <laughs> I know. I'm aware of the Kobler Ross model of grief. Kubler. Where am I? Depression or bargaining? A testament to Hayden's craftsmanship. Thank you for your words, Rekar. You're a better friend than I could have asked for. <laughs> I love you, Turing. We have other pressing avenues of inquiry to make. Let's move on.
Okay, let's check out what's going on at K Cobb now. Well, that'll be it for today. I'll uh, hopefully see you tomorrow. I don't know. Um, my work situation is a little bit up in the air at the moment, so if I don't have to go, I will be back tomorrow. If not, then as soon as possible. Have a nice night, everyone. I'll see you.